Karala back again. So we're talking about articles and we're talking about how to use articles in Spanish. And sometimes it coincides with English, but sometimes it doesn't. For example, here, I hope you can see this says generic nouns. When you're talking about generic nouns, nouns that talk about things in general, such as beauty, such as knowledge, such as hunger, such as, um, oh, one more thing, one more thing, democracy. In English, you, normally speaking, in a sentence, you do not use the article. Happiness is what everybody chooses or wants, or beauty is what every human being seeks or whatever, right? Where in English, you just say beauty or knowledge. In Spanish, you have to use the article, so you would say, el conocimiento, la belleza, la democracia, right? So in a sentence, where in English, you would not use an article, in, 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 yes, in English, you don't use the article, in Spanish, you do use the article. Okay, now, there are expressions, fixed expressions, that exist in both languages, and why they're made the way they are, who knows? It's just come down that way. But since they're fixed, you can't change even the smallest words. Some of those expressions in English, you do not use articles, where in, in, in Spanish you do. So let me just um, look. Oh, by the way, when I go off camera or when I look down, I'm looking at my, um, my computer. And I'm looking at the cards that I have created so when I'm teaching, a lot of times I'm teaching with these cards that I have created. And you can always go to I Study Guides or I Study Cards or you can always go to see my videos or CAB, C-A-A-B-E-D. Okay, so let me give you some of those fixed expressions. Instead of going off camera, I'll just pick up my computer and let me give you some of those fixed expressions. For example, in English you say in the long run, notice the, in the long run or in the short run. In Spanish, you don't say al, al, corto plazo, or al, al, largo plazo. No, you just say a, no article. A, corto plazo, a, largo plazo. Okay, let me give you another one. When you say at the pleasure of or at the liking of, where in English you say at the, in Spanish you do not, you say a gusto de, a gusto de. No article. Let me give you another one. Yes, English you say on the, I mean, on, yes, on the high, on the high seas. In Spanish you say in alta mar. And in English you say on the way. And in Spanish you just say in, en camino, en camino. So where in English you do use the article, in Spanish you do not. Once again, you can always go and download these cards. They're really helpful, right? And what I do is you just cut them out, put them in your back pocket, and for that day you can study wherever you're going. You're on the metro, you're on the subway, or whatever. Okay, now, another thing is, this is especially true for French speakers. When you have the LA, the L-A, right, article, you do not abbreviate or put um, the L and apostrophe L uh, in front of the article, that is, you don't remove the A, right? So you would say, la, 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 can't think of a la right now, with the A in front of it, right? But you, ah, no, but that's el ojo, so it wouldn't be la. Anyway, so, if it's feminine, and you, the next word begins with a vowel, as long as that vowel is not a stressed A, as long as that vowel is not a stressed A, you don't have anything to worry about. You just say the word la and then the vowel, right? Here is the difference though. If the vowel is a stressed A, now you have to do a little bit of a change. So here's an example. You have the word afombra, and you have the word alza. You have the word alianza, and you have the word ada. Now you know it's beginning to the H, but you know the H is silent. Okay, now, if you were to put the article, let me first say that all these words are feminine. So normally speaking, if the word is feminine, you use the feminine article, la, but you don't. 
Okay, so here we go. So you would say, la afombra, la alianza, or alianza, right? But if you are going to talk about alpha or alza, or you're going to be talking about ala, then it's el alza, el ada. Although I'm telling you now that alpha and ada are feminine. Why? The reason is that in alfombra, the first letter A is not the part that's stressed. This does not break the rule, so foam is the part that's stressed. That's the part that's stressed, so therefore you don't need an accent, and it's la alfombra because the word begins with an un, an unstressed A. Alianza, once again, the next to the last syllable is a syllable that's stressed according to the rule, therefore you don't need an accent, and the first A is not stressed, so therefore it's la alianza. While alpha, next to the last syllable, which would be the first syllable in this case, so the A is stressed, so it's L. El alza, and once again, next to the last syllable, which would be the first syllable, therefore the A is stressed, it's el ada. So here's the rule. If the word begins with a stressed, stressed A, then the article which is used is not the correct article or the article normally used for the feminine, which would be la. The article which is used is el. Right? It's M. But I'm going to skip this for about a minute. I'm going to skip this next to the last line. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go and I'm going to talk about the absolute last, the last line. But if you are talking about one is L alpha or L ada and la formula la alianza. But if you're talking about more than one and now you're saying las, now that A in la will not clash with that A in alpha or other, then it goes back to its feminine form with the article. So, las, las, las alfombras, las alzas, las alianzas y las alas. Interesting, small point, but important when you want to speak the language correctly. But as you know, there's always exceptions. And here are some exceptions of words that begin with a stressed A, that is, that's where the accent is, but the article is la. So you have la a, la h, la aya, y la arabe. So even though it begins with a stressed A, it remains la instead of converting it to L, so there won't be a clash. I don't know why. Every language has its exceptions. So what did we talk about? We talked about generic nouns in English, no article, in Spanish, article. We also talked about fixed expressions where in English, an article, in Spanish, no article. We talked about abbreviations with vowels in front of la, no abbreviation unlike in French. We also talked about when a noun begins with an unstressed A, and with a stressed A and how that's used. We'll be back because we have quite a few videos on the article. Because the article in Spanish, even though it seems very small and very insignificant, extremely important. So once again, Corrala Ficklin, McLean, you can see me at CAB, C-A-A-B, B as in boy, C-A-A, B as in boy, E-D, D as in dog, one, all right? That's my YouTube. I also tweet and I tweet a lot. A lot. And when I tweet, I tweet basically on language and some of my social views, but basically on language. And it's you go to Twitter and it's Corrala, C A R R A L A, Muck, M C, Claim, C L A I N. Okay, so you can, you can even listen to some of my views on language, some views on, on the social issues, but not that many. Okay, thank you. You have a good day. Bye.